Hey guys, welcome to the Engineering World. Here is the SSCJ previous solved papers with detailed explanation. So subscribe the channel and support my work. Here is the paper SSCJ of Mechanical Branch. The date of exam is 29 September 2019 and time is 3 pm to 5 pm. Then the next first question is chemical formula of R717 is options are N2, H2O, NH3, CO2. Here R717 is given and due to this 7 and 3 digits, okay, 717 3 digits, it's an inorganic compound. Refrigerant is inorganic compound and such refrigerant is designed as R700 plus molecular weight of the refrigerant. So here 17 is the molecular weight and we know that 17 is the molecular weight of NH3 that is 14 of nitrogen and 3 ones of hydrogen and hence answer is 3 that is NH3 then the next question is which is the first stage of combustion in an SI engine options are rapid combustion after burning flame propagation ignition lag actually the first stage of combustion in an SI engine is referred to as a ignition lag or preparation phase in which growth and development of self propagating nucleus of flame takes place okay growth and development of self propagating nucleus takes place so the correct answer is ignition lag then the next question the air refrigeration system works on the options are vapor compression cycle carnot cycle rankine cycle bell coleman cycle it is a straightforward question and it works on the reverse Brighton or bell coleman cycle so the answer is bell coleman cycle then the next question mild steel belongs to which of the category options are medium carbon steel no carbon steel low carbon steel high carbon steel actually the steel is categorized into three parts based on the carbon content here I will show you 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 can take screenshot of it or please note down so low carbon steel or mild steel contains carbon less than 0.3 percent medium carbon steel contain 0.3 to 0.6 percent carbon and high carbon steel contain more than 0.6 percent carbon I take the reference of manufacturing engineering and technology by Sirup Kalpak Jain you can buy this book link is given in the description box it is a very good book so the answer is low carbon steel okay mild steel also known as low carbon steel then the next question dash dash is the platform in a furnace upon which fuel is burned options are shell blow of cock accessory grate it is a grat grat is a platform in a furnace upon which fuel is burnt okay then the next question which is the following is a part of Pelton wheel turbine all we know that options are draft tube guide blade wicket gate and nozzle actually nozzle is a part of the Pelton wheel turbine then the next question is which of the following is a not component of centrifugal compressor examples uh, options are casing piston impeller radial vents here I will show the figure of compressor centrifugal compressor these are this is the impeller okay these are the radial vents okay and this one is a casing also known as radial casing so from given options it centrifugal has sorry centrifugal there is no piston okay piston is is present in the reciprocating compressor then the next question usually usually boiler rating is defined in terms of boiler rating is defined in terms of steam output in kilogram per hour okay so the correct answer is fourth one that is steam output in kilogram per hour okay then the next question addition of sulfur to a stainless steel increases which of the following actually addition of sulfur to stainless steel increases the machinability of the that 
स्टेनलेस स्टील सो आंसर इज मशीन एबिलिटी देन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट डू यू मीन बाय स्ट्रीम लाइन इट्स अ डेफिनेशन सो वी ऑल नो दैट स्ट्रीम लाइन्स आर दोज द टेंजन ड्रॉन एट एनी पॉइंट टू देम यूज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ वेलॉसिटी एट एनी पॉइंट सॉरी डायरेक्शन ऑफ वेलॉसिटी वेक्टर एट दैट पॉइंट ओके सो दिस इज अ स्ट्रीम लाइन एंड इफ यू ड्रॉ अ टेंजन टू दिस इट विल गिव द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दैट वेलॉसिटी वैक्टर सो दिस इज अ स्ट्रीम लाइन सो द एंसर इज फोर्थ वन a tangent drawn at any point that gives direction of velocity vector at that point guys here we are launching 100 important questions and answers for ssc je topic wise subject wise for mechanical branch it is helpful for not only for ssc je but also other psc exams like wise xtil nlc coal india etc all questions are based on a previous year analysis so subscribe the youtube channel and like us on facebook page the facebook page link is given in the description box so then we will discuss the next question here 11 for the same compression ratio the thermal efficiency of an auto cycle these are the options so here i will show you auto cycle diesel cycle and dual cycle this one that is 1275 is a diesel cycle okay then 1 2 3 4 5 this one is a dual cycle 1 2 3 4 5 is a dual and 1 2 6 5 is a auto cycle this is a pv diagram here i there is also ts diagram also okay here you can observe that the area that is work output is large for auto cycle as compared to diesel and dual because we know that on pv diagram area is represent the work output hence for a same compression ratio thermal efficiency is greater than diesel cycle for auto cycle okay then the next question the specific speed okay here i missed this speed of turbine is where n is the speed in rpm p is a power h is a head this is a formula based question okay just remember this formula for a turbine specific speed is equal to n into root of p divided by h raised to 5 divided by 4 okay option is 3 how it is derived we will see in the lecture series for gate and ies okay so just remember okay then the next question the force exerted by a jet of water on a stationary vertical plate in a direction of jet is where rho is a density of liquid e is a cross sectional area v is a velocity of jet this type of question we already covered in our mock test you can attempt this mock test link is given in the description box so by here i will show you the this is the vertical plate okay which is stationary given station this is a jet jet is impacting force on this plate so by newton second law that is law of momentum force is the rate of change of movement so f is equal to m dot into v where m dot is a mass flow rate v is a relative velocity here plate is fixed that is stationary so relative velocity is equal to velocity of that jet as m dot that is mass flow rate is equal to air rho into volume here volume is area into that velocity so f is equal to rho into a into v square then the next question is dot dot is defined as the amount of dry saturated steam generated from a feed water at 100 degrees celsius at normal atmospheric pressure it is a concept of equivalent evaporation what is meant by equivalent evaporation it is defined as amount of dry and saturated steam generated from feed water at 100 degree celsius at normal atmospheric pressure in short it is the amount of steam generated from and at 100 degree celsius okay equivalent evaporation so the correct answer is equivalent evaporation okay then the next question is 15th one it's a from boiler 
a closed vessel in which steam is produced from water by combustion of fuel is called boiler it's a straightforward question all we know that so the answer is four that is boiler then the next question is in a reversible process the entropy of system we know that by clausius inequality for a reversible process delta s that is change in entropy is equal to zero that is s2 minus s1 is equal to zero that is s2 is equal to s1 so entropy of system remains same okay the answer is entropy of system remains same then the next question the forces whose line of action lie along the same line are known as collinear forces that is on the same line along the same line then the next question laminar flow is also called in laminar flow there is no turbulence you can observe it is a stream there are stream lines okay stream lines i will show you this is a laminar flow and it's like a stream line as we know that stream lines do not cross pass each other so answer is stream line flow then the next question the hydraulic machine that convert mechanical energy into hydraulic energy is called as pump okay and reverse is turbine so the answer is pump mechanical into hydraulic pump and hydraulic into mechanical it's turbine then the next question the degree of reaction of parsons turbine is what is meant by degree of reaction degree of reaction is the ratio of enthalpy drop in a moving blade divided by total enthalpy drop so what is the moving blade or static blade we will see it in a power plant lecture series so for parsons turbine it's a 50% okay while for hero's turbine it's a 100% that is one there is expectation of this question what is the degree of reaction for hero's turbine so it's a 100% or you can simply say that one okay so for this question answer is 50% remember this one it's a very important okay then the next question uh, sorry here daily formulas for technical subjects on facebook page we are posting daily three formulas of technical subject related to mechanical at 8 am daily it will boost your preparation and also we are going to start daily questions for practice on facebook page for sscg so like us on facebook link is in description box then the next question which of the following is a not a type of water cooled condenser related to refrigerant plant these are the given options actually in a natural convection the cooling occurs due to the air or environment okay so it is the correct one that is natural convection other are water cooled condenser okay or so answer is natural convection then piezometer are used to measure we all know that piezometer is used to measure the gauge pressure then which of the following is a major loss in a pipe there are two types of losses major losses and minor losses the friction losses are major losses while other that is sudden enlargement of pipe bending pipe sudden contraction of pipe these are minor losses and minor losses can be neglected okay so this is major loss and these are the minor losses so the correct answer for this is friction losses okay then the next question is the dash dash forces on a fluid element are caused by agencies such as gravity and magnetic field its answer is body forces the body forces on a fluid element are caused by agencies such as gravity and magnetic field okay the answer is body forces then the next question is 
इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ कंपोनेंट ऑफ वेपर कॉम्प्रेशन रेप्रिजिएशन साइकिल इन वी सी आर देर इज अ एक्सपांशन वॉल इंस्टेड ऑफ टर्बाइन ओके सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज एक्सपांशन वॉल इट्स अ स्टेट फॉरवर्ड एंड बेसिक क्वेश्चन देन ट्वेंटी सिक्स वन वन न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू वी नो दैट इट्स अ यूनिट ऑफ प्रेशर एंड इट्स वन पासकल देन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन एन यूनिफॉर्म फ्लो द वेलॉसिटीज ऑफ फ्लूड पार्टिकल द यूनिफॉर्म फ्लो इज द फ्लो इन विच वेलॉसिटी वेक्टर इज सेम एट ऑल पॉइंट्स एट एनी गिवन टाइम ओके सो वेलॉसिटी ऑफ फ्लूड पार्टिकल डो नॉट चेंज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू स्पेस एट एनी गिवन टाइम इट्स अ एंसर ऑप्शन टू इज करेक्ट फॉर यूनिफॉर्म फ्लो सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ रोटामीटर इज यूज टू मेजर इट्स अ फ्लो रेट रोटामीटर इज यूज टू मेजर द फ्लो रेट ऑफ अ फ्लूड गाइज वी आर कवरिंग थर्टी क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल कवर थर्टी एंड देन रिमेनिंग सो ऑल हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन आर कवर्ड देन वी विल लॉन्च नेक्स्ट पेपर ओके विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ सिंगल ट्यूब बॉयलर हियर दीज आर ओके ऑप्शन वन टू एंड थ्री आर मल्टी मल्टी ट्यूब एंड फोर्थ वन कॉर्निश बॉयलर इज अ सिंगल ट्यूब बॉयलर ओके देन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड लास्ट वन द वर्क इनपुट ऑफ कॉम्प्रेसर इज मिनिमम वेन लॉ फॉलोड बाय कॉम्प्रेशन इज हियर आई विल शो यू पी वी डायग्राम यू विल ऑब्जर्व डैट एरिया अंडर द करव दैट इज पी वी इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टंट दैट इज आइसोथर्मल इज स्मॉल एज कंपेर्ड टू अदर एंड हेन्स वर्क इज ऑल्सो लेस एज एरिया ऑफ पी वी डायग्राम रिप्रेजेंट वर्क सो द एंसर इज आइसोथर्मल दैट इज पी वी इज इक्वल टू सी सो गाइज प्लीज कमेंट हाउ इज द लेक्चर एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द आवर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्लीज सपोर्ट माय वर्क हियर यू कैन वॉच दिस वीडियोज ऑल्सो सो स्टे ट्यून्ड स्टे हैप्पी ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक्स इन फ्लाइंग वर्ल्ड